All right, today, guys, I'm going to be going over a leak video, an oil leak video for grommets and pipes going into the valve covers on these older Vortec V8s. This particular one we're looking at here is a 5.7 liter Vortec V8. And when I talk about these kind of hoses, what I'm talking about, for example, is on this air intake, we've got this emissions pipe, this hose that comes in over here and goes down into a grommet, a rubber grommet that's mounted on the, in this case, on the passenger side valve cover. And we can see there's a lot of oil leakage from oil blowback around here because this grommet is old and it's given out. And that's just mixing with dirt and creating a mess. On the, uh, on the driver's side, we've got another one back here in the back area. This is the same exact type of grommet. This one, in this case, holds the positive crankcase ventilation PCV assembly. And it's got the same sort of problem. We've got oil blowback. We're collecting road dirt and dust, and it's creating a mess here. You can also sometimes uh, get these leaks at these valve cover bolts, and you want to check those. In this case, we don't have that. And you can also sometimes get them on these uh, oil filler tubes. Now, in this case, we don't have a leak on this oil filler tube, but we've got a different problem, so it's worth highlighting. You know, if you've got this kind of thing, and you watch the flats here on this piece, you turn this, and the whole thing moves. You know, this is an example. It shouldn't do that, right? If you look down here, you shouldn't have this whole thing moving. This thing should be tightened up, and it can lead to a leak. Uh, in this case, it has not, fortunately. So in this case, it's a simple fix. It's going to take a wrench in here, and we're just going to tighten this assembly up. There's some little flats you can see right along the edges here. Hopefully, there's not too much glare from this flashlight. It allows you to get a wrench in here. I'm using one with some plastic head tips, whoops, just so I don't tear it up and mar it because it is, it is plastic. You just want it snugged up, and at that point, if it's snugged up, you should be able to remove the filler cap without the whole pipe moving on you, right? And so if it's moving on you, that's what the problem is. So no leak here, but I do have one of these on another truck that's got a problem. And so I'll be able to share a part number here with you in case you, you need one. So the part number on this guy is 125-51357. And then again, this is the part number for the oil filler tube that screws into the valve cover on the driver's side on these Vortec engines. And so what you end up having here is um, a, a round uh, O-ring seal. This is what keeps it from leaking. There's a little bit of a sealant for the threads here, but when you screw this in, if you get it in snug, what prevents it from leaking is this O-ring. Now they don't service the O-ring separately. You know, they intended for you to buy this whole thing if you needed an O-ring, but typically you would only buy one of these if it was cracked or maybe all of these flats have been um, burned off because somebody didn't do what I did and they chewed them off with a wrench and now you can't tighten it or loosen it. But it, usually you should be able to pick up a, an O-ring separately at the parts store, an auto parts store. Now the, the grommets themselves are a different part number, of course. And the part number on these grommets is a 100 88 126. You can pick these up, you know, online, eBay, eBay. I'll put a link in the descriptions for both of these parts. But um, what's inside the little baggie here is just a little rubber piece pulled out here for you. All right, so there's a little rubber piece that's going to fit into the sheet metal of the valve cover. So it's going to go in between there, and then it's going to form a grommet for you to plug things into it, like that emissions pipe on the passenger side, or like that PCV valve here on the driver's side. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to clean up the mess, get it off the valve cover so we don't have anything falling in. And then when, I, when we get that done, we'll come back, we'll pull these two grommets off, and we'll replace them. All right, guys, I'm just finishing up cleaning this passenger side one. You know, this is what we want this engine valve cover to look like, you know, all the time, right? So all this crud off of here that I hope, all, even all this spillover down here that you see me getting, I'm hoping is all from this one grommet that, you know, looked like the source of all that. All right, so it's clean enough now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out kind of bend this out of the way. And then I'm also just going to continue, just want to get a little bit more of this dirt around the edge here so it doesn't fall in. And then all we're going to end up doing is taking this old grommet out. Just kind of peel it out slowly in case it breaks. And then we're going to clean right around the edge. Don't want any of this stuff to fall in though kind of move outward as you clean it. You can see there's little bits and pieces of dirt and oil kind of merged together falling out there. 
And now with that out of the way, we'll take our new one and we'll just pop them in. It's pretty simple repair. Probably the most valuable thing on the video is the part numbers and just drawing your attention to what you can do about it. All right, so once he's back in there, we can put this pipe back in. Make sure he sits in there nice and tight. Just clean up any more uh, dirt and oil that's around it because you want to be able to tell is this working, right? So we get it all nice and cleared up. And now we're going to be able to not have that uh, oil and grime over here anymore. So that side's fixed. Let's go do the other side. All right, guys, here we are on the driver's side. Just kind of finishing up, cleaning up the crud over here. And again, you know, you're trying to get, you're trying to get this kind of a look is how it normally should look. And the fact of this particular 98 year, and I've, I think it's even true for the 97 and 96s, it's not really a black on this uh, valve cover. It's kind of like a, a dark brown almost, or a very, very dark gray is what I've noticed in the past. All right, so we've got this guy here, just trying to clean enough like we did on the other side so it doesn't drop in. You can see now that we've cleaned her out here, we can see a nice shiny end of the PCV valve here going into this grommet. We've got enough of this out of here. We're going to go ahead and pull that PCV valve while you got this guy out. Give him a shake. You should hear him rattling. That's a good way to just do a quick check to make sure he's okay while you're in here. They, they make a rattling sound if they're okay. Pretty much, most of the time, not 100%, but it's a good quick check. All right, so make sure there's enough light back here. Same kind of a thing. We're just going to go back here. We're going to slowly lift up on the one corner until we can grab it. And then we're just going to peel it back from the top, and it'll pop right out. It's our old one. A lot of oil all over it. Clean up our mounting point. Get our new one. Again, push it in on one corner. Doesn't matter which corner you get it, just get it into one corner and then you can usually squeeze it all the way around until you get it seated all the way. And you'll usually hear like a little snap sound when it's all the way in. All right? And then we can go reinsert our PCV. But I wanted to give it a quick wipe off. Drop my paper towel here. Before we do that, go ahead and push him back in there. All right, and so we're all set. A pretty simple, straightforward repair. That should take care of the leaks on both sides at these grommets. And then we'll just continue cleaning up this valve cover and we'll just give it a watch just to make sure. You know, again, we're watching to see do we get anything out of these these uh, bolts that hold it down. There's sometimes a possibility that these have gotten loose. And you might need to retorque them. In this case, these aren't leaking, but easy way to tell is to clean it up like this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up towards the back of the valve cover. And that's the end of this repair. I hope this helped you out. If you got questions, or you got comments about how you might do it or even different part numbers for a different engine than what I'm showing in this uh, series here, go ahead and leave that below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.